Hey guys, Buffer Game back today, bringing another video for our weapon conversion series. And today we're going to do one more conversion here for the AS Val and convert it into the SR3 or the Special Development 3M, M standing for modernized. So basically, what this is, it's heavily inspired out of the AS Val and the VSS Venturas, and it's more of a compact variant, you could call it, of the AS Val uh, titled Special Development 3M. So let's go ahead and back out. I'll show you how to build this weapon, then we'll show, into, show it in action here in some live realism multiplayer action so we'll go ahead and back out now and you'll see the final version here of the sr3m so we'll go ahead and back out and i'll strip this down to base now first off the key attachment really here you're going to want is the barrel so at base we have the 200 meter as valve barrel here or the vss barrel so we're going to want to strip that down and we're going to want to go with this one here the shortest one the stovel sof so this is going to give us somewhere shorter it's odd because this one is labeled 105 meters or millimeters and this one being even shorter so i'm not sure what this is supposed to be in real life the barrel length is going to be 156 meters or 6.4 inches so this is going to be obviously shorter than this and matches up more in line with what the sr3m looks like so we'll go with the stovel barrel the pros here are going to be the ads speed and the movement speed the cons the bullet velocity and the recoil control since we do have the lowest or the shortest barrel on this weapon so we'll go ahead and select that Laser, we can skip out. That's going to be more of a personal preference as you want to opt out of an optic or even a buttstock, which you can absolutely do. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to skip out on the laser, even though it probably is a good idea because you're going to be using this in close quarters combat situations. Now, for the optic, I'm going to go with a standard Viper or a Cobra red dot sight here. Just a standard red dot, nothing special there. Going to slow down your ADS by, I believe, about a frame. And they're really not noticeable compared to the iron sights. Now, the stock, as I said, you can feel free to use this base stock, which was also shared on the SR3M, same as the AS Val or at least very similar. But I'm gonna go ahead and swap out for the Stovall GP, or excuse me, 6P30 skeleton stock. And the 6P30 is the grow designation for this weapon. So we're gonna go with the skeleton stock here. This is gonna be the pros of the ADS speed and the aim down sight speed. The cons are gonna be the aiming stability. So we'll go ahead and select that. Now the next one, we're gonna skip on the perk and the rear grip, the ammunition. We're gonna go ahead and select that 30 round magazine. Now this was really unique for the SR3 and the SR3M and MP variants. The AS Val and the VSS did not typically come with a 30 round magazine of the 9x39. So I believe it was the SR3 that first introduced a 30 round magazine available in 9x39, which is now shared with the AS Val as well. So we'll go ahead and select that. That's just going to up our magazine capacity from the base of 20 rounds by 9x39 up to 30. So we're going to increase by 10. The cons again, ADS speed and movement speed, which we have mitigated elsewhere. So we won't worry about that. We'll go ahead and select that. And now the last one here, really personal preference. I'm going to go ahead and do the Merc 4 grip. We want to have a little bit of hip fire action here where we can. So that's where the hip Merc 4 grip is going to help us out. We're going to get the pros being the recoil control and the hip fire accuracy. And the cons here being the ADS speed and the aim walking movement speed. Now the Merc 4 grip I think is going to help with your recoil control more so than the Ranger and some of these other grips as well. But that's, again, personal preference. Since we do have the shorter barrel in there, we want to try to mitigate that best we can. So we'll select that. So this is our final design for the SR3M. You can see no real noticeable changes to the weapon besides obviously the shorter barrel. Now in real life, the SR3 and the SR3M and MP do not come with an integral suppressor. So you can see here, it almost looks like uh, this specific barrel attachment does not have an integral suppressor and you just happen to have a short suppressor on the weapon. But in real life, this weapon does not have an integral suppressor and it would cut off there where you see that suppressor start. And uh, then you could obviously just attach a long suppressor to it. So it looks like this one just has a short suppressor attached to this particular variant of the weapon here in game. We have our dovetail mount for our optics. We also have the charging handle, select fire controls there, same as on any real, real Kalashnikov AK variant we see, at least very similar. And a charging handle there on the right hand side as well. And our select fires. So really that's the final design here. Very simple conversion, but again, um, the only major difference is that this does not have an integral suppressor in real life, whereas to, is here. I believe the description for the barrel says that it a, has a proprietary monocore, provides quality sound suppression in, sh in a shorter barrel. So shorter barrel, it seems like there's just a very short suppressor on, suppressor on there based on how the weapon looks, but again, hard to tell. And then versus the VLK, this one definitely looks like it has a suppressor attached to it or it's screwed onto the end of the barrel attachment there but again the handguard is different from the sr3 and the sr3m which is very similar to what we see here the only major difference again is that because that is a suppressor that would not be integrated or integral the foregrip would be more closer to the magazine there at the very end of that bottom part of the handguard you can see 
where that where it kind of grooves down there at that angle there that third degree angle or whatever it is that's where the foregrip would typically be attached not on the suppressor for this particular variant of weapon but that's the sr3m uh you can see how it looks like you have your different reticles here for the cobra i'm just going to use the base and then different camos again it looks very similar to the asval some of the woodlands and even this desert hybrid don't look too bad on this as well i think that's pretty nice looking designs here for this particular weapon and you can go obviously with some spetsnaz things like the spetsnaz red some of these other spetsnaz fall colors i think we have here for the digitals and things like that as well so you can see here spetsnaz fall looks pretty good on this weapon actually versus the SVAL, i prefer it with no attachments but we'll go ahead now and we'll jump into the gameplay for this you'll just see me running this here on realism just to, nothing special with this game with this particular gameplay just want to show the weapon in action i go i think 24 and 11 have a nice little streak there at the very end of the game right get in a nice close quarter situation really where this weapon excels and i'm able to down a lot of enemies uh continuously as they keep rushing me after i kill them so really good engagements there at the very end um, get a nice cluster strike there. I actually have my kill streaks kind of messed up for the selections just because I'm doing challenges. So I didn't have anything like a chopper, gun, or anything like that to really build upon, unfortunately. But some things as we have the gameplay playing play in the background. This weapon again, the SR3M. It also comes in the SR3, the base SR3, SR3M for modernizing the SR3MP, which is a further modernization of the SR3M. So. Again, this is chambered in 9x39, which is the same as the ASVAL or the VSS. It takes different ammo types like the SP6 round, which is that armor-piercing round, which will penetrate up to 6 millimeters of steel at 200 meters. Also, is compatible with the SP5, the ball ammunition typically for the sniper rounds that's used by the VSS or even the SPP rounds. And again, the SR3 based heavily on the ASVAL and the VSS Ventura. So, this was in service since 1996. And now again, developed by Russia. It was design period from 1989 through 1994. So really right after the ASVAL and the VSS were released. The manufacturer is Tula Arms Plant, and it's been being produced here since 1995. It was adopted by the FSB and Spetsnaz Special Forces, again, to fill that short, shorter, more compact variant of this 9x39 assault rifle. The mass overall is two kilograms without the magazine, and with a magazine, 30 round empty would be 3.2 kilograms. Now the SR3M, uh, with the suppressor attached, the weights are going to vary. So we really don't have an accurate weight for what this particular variant would be, since I don't know of a short suppressor like this in real life. But again, the weight very light overall because it is a very small, compact weapon. Now the length for this weapon is going to be for the SR3 is going to be 15.59 inches or 396 millimeters. And again, that's going to be dependent on the foldable buttstock, whether it's folded or unfolded, and then again, what kind of suppressor you have on the weapon overall, if any, or if you're just running it with the standard barrel. The barrel length in real life is going to be 156 millimeters or 6.14 inches, and again, that's coming without a suppressor. So there's no suppressor in this in real life that's integral, so it's going to just be the length measured without a suppressor on this weapon. So we have an added suppressor here in game. Now the cartridge is going to be, as I said, the 9x39 comes in SP6, SP5, SPP. There's a couple different variants that it will take. The magazine capacity or the magazine feed system is going to be either 10, 20, or the 30 rounds, which I said, as you remember, it was first introduced here with the SR3 and then adopted into uh, use by the ASVAL and the VSS. Again, compatible, same magazines can be interchanged between different the, all the weapons here, the SR3, VSS, and the ASVAL. Now the action is going to be a gas operated rotating bolt and the rate of fire on this is going to be 900 rounds per minute same as the ASVAL or the VSS if you were to rip it in full auto. The muzzle velocity is going to be 295 meters per second effective range 200 meters. So again pretty short for this one because it is a more compact weapon where I believe the ASVAL is accurate out to or the VSS together are accurate out to within 400 meters is really where their maximum range is. Now the feed system again, as I said, 10, 20, and 30, and then iron sights is just going to be standard iron sights. And again, here with the SR3M and the MP, we do have that dovetail mount on the left-hand side, the same as you see on a lot of the Kalashnikov AK variant rifles. They have that dovetail mount, so you can attach the side-mounted rail system there. And then even further versions down the road, I believe, do have a rail dust cover as well. So it really depends on really the SR3M. My MP has the rail dust cover, I believe. So let me know down below what you guys think of this weapon. What type of attachments do you run on this? As I said, it's really good for close quarter situations. And like I said, you probably want to swap out the buttstock for a 5 milliwatt laser if you're really trying to be more competitive in multiplayer. You'll see here there's a couple situations where I probably could have gotten away with the kill had I had a 5 milliwatt on there for the hipfire accuracy. Instead, 
of uh, opting for the butt stock. But again, you really don't need the boost in the ADSB because you already have a very compact variant of the weapon. Really, the most compact variant we can have here of the AS Val turning it into the SR3M. So really, let me know down below what kind of attachments you run on this weapon, what you think of this overall, and what your preferred variant or attachments are to run on the AS Val or the BSS Ventura's, or is it here with the SR3M? What's your favorite variant to use down below? Let, let, go ahead and let me know. Now, there is going to be an update here tomorrow, I believe Wednesday, the 14th of October, to Call of Duty Modern Warfare. We're not quite sure what it is. It seems like it's going to be the mid-season refresh time, so we're about two weeks into Season 6 at this point. So it should be the mid-season mid refresh, so we should see some of those things we initially saw on the roadmap coming into the game here. So, we we'll to stay tuned. I'll cover that tomorrow. Hopefully, we'll see maybe the FSB bundle, maybe some new blueprints and some store items in shop, as well as some limited time game modes. So I haven't seen any shop refreshes or any items in the shop yet this week. So hopefully, we'll get some new ones coming in tomorrow with whatever this update's going to be. So leave you guys with that. Let me know down below what you guys think overall of the AS Val. Again, what your favorite attachments are to run on this. And if you've run this in Warzone, I'm really curious if you, anyone's actually used this particular setup in Warzone with the shortest barrel. Probably not advisable, but if anyone's actually gotten away with it, I'm very curious to know how it handles. I'm sure it actually is very, very good in those close quarter situations, but I can't imagine in Warzone with the ranges that you're engaging in needing to really have a more con compact barrel than the base barrel for the AS Val. So go ahead and comment down below. I'll leave you guys with that. This is the SR3M or the Special Development 3 Modernization. Until next time, Buffman Gaming, out.